Hello friends, my name is Scott Goss and for the last 15 years I've been working with and also traveling and associated with a great man by the name of Tony Robbins. And he has an event called Unleash Your Power Within that actually changed my life and changed thousands of people's lives. So the question is today, why are we in a world where you can be able to go to YouTube, go to Google and get information on everything, but most people today are struggling. Most people do not have what they want financially or in their personal life and they're struggling because we have information everywhere. It's a great time to be alive. But the question is, what's the gap? The gap is this. The gap is knowing what we should be doing and actually doing it. So what I discovered is this. Most people know what they should be doing, but they don't do it because they use certain excuses or they have mind blocks that stop them from getting what they want. For example, a lot of people today I work with actually may have a fear of not getting what they want. So the fears that people have today could be a fear of failure, a fear of rejection, a fear of maybe looking bad, or maybe a fear of success. And fear of success is simply being able to not feel you're good enough to be able to get what you want. Also, on the surface level, a lot of people say stuff like, I can't get what I want because I have no time, I'm too busy. Has anybody heard that one before? So maybe no time. Also, one that's related with no time is a classic one. I have no money to be able to start my business. I have no money to be able to invest. I have no money to be able to get what I want. But the classic one that most people do, and I see this all the time, is they have the big goals, the big dreams, the big visions, but what happens is they say, I will do it later. And that is called procrastination. But today, we don't say we're procrastinators, we say we just have to think about it, right? Think about it. So what happens, most people have these like, programs that go through their minds over and over and over, and we call these fears sometimes, we call these excuses. We may have a story we actually call it that goes in our mind over and over and over, but what Tony Robbins has been calling it for many years, it's a very scientific term, we call it our BS. And not the BS you're thinking. A BS is what we call our belief systems. So a belief is simply a behavior that drives us over and over and over again. A belief drives every action that we have in our life. Very simple, we have two types of beliefs. We have number one, which is called an empowering belief. An empowering belief that if you acquire in your life, you're able to be able to get more energy, more confidence, and with an empowering belief, it will be able to drive you forward to help you reach your goals, your dreams, your visions. But the flip side is, I see people all the time who have talent who are smart, who have education, but what happens, they may actually run themselves on what is called a limiting belief system. A limiting belief is a belief that may stop us and hold us back. It could be about the time we have, the money, a fear, maybe not being good enough, not knowing enough people, not knowing enough resources that actually hold us back. But here's the breakthrough. For all human behavior from US to Asia to Europe, this holds true. All human beings will never outsell, outearn, overachieve their current belief system. I'll say it again. Most human beings will never outearn, outsell, or overachieve their current belief system. And what happens is they're held back in their psychology from truly getting what they want. And I gotta be honest with you, I've been there. About 15 years ago, as a young man, about 27, 28 years old, I had experience with a great opportunity in life. But what happened in my mind, I found myself chasing money, working all day, and having the pattern of going to work, going home, going to sleep, going to work, going home, going to sleep, over and over again, and truly not getting the results. Even though I was putting in the work, putting the effort, stressed out beyond belief, but what happened in my mind, I had a lot of limiting beliefs. And at the core things for me personally, I didn't believe I could do it. 
So therefore, I made excuses about the time, the environment, the economy, about other people that held me back. But I tell you what, it doesn't have to be that way. I was first introduced to Tony Robbins 15 years ago through a speaker who came to my office. And I tell you, it blew my mind. And I made a decision that day to be able to invest in myself, to be able to grow my mind to become better, and I actually decided to go see Tony Robbins. And I tell you, my friends, one of the best decisions of my life. Me personally, when I went, I had two ideas and two strategies I put into my life. I came back, I lost about 20 kg, I got out of debt, I changed my relationships and changed everything by changing our thinking. So the challenge is, as I said, it's not knowing what to do, it's actually doing it. Doing it with confidence, doing it consistently and being able to do it on a daily basis to truly get what you want. So the game is, how can we be able to acquire an empowering belief, get these out of our life and really be able to live our dreams, our goals, our visions?